Well, folks, we're doing it. Today is a bit of a nerve-wracking but exciting day. We're about to take Solly and Dee into a new country. Yeah, we've never done this before, so we really don't know what to expect. All I know is we ate a lot of eggs and chicken over the past couple days because there's currently like a poultry warning, like bird flu warnings throughout Canada. So that's what they're cracking down on. It's 11.30 and we have to be out of here by 12. I love, by the way, checkout times that are 12 o'clock. What was that? Me too. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Did you sweep out the slides I already? I did. You did? I did, but don't tell them because they constantly- Oh, hey guys. <laughs> How rude of me to not acknowledge that you guys are here. Don't tell them we used a broom because there's people still in the comments telling us to get a leaf blower. Oh, I know. <laughs> I gotta get on that level one day. We have about a two hour drive till we even hit the border and then after that we don't know where we're going. I bet we have nothing booked until we actually physically get to Alaska. Our first set of reservations is in Valdez. I will say, this is kind of awkward, but there's somebody in our group. I shouldn't be telling you this because it's like, it's inappropriate. But there's somebody in our group that is like not really into this trip. We should we should just approach them and, and ask what's going on. Are you ready to go to Alaska? Are you ready to go to Alaska? No, you're you're upset. Okay, I kinda told everybody that you're upset. I'm sorry, I don't mean to talk about your personal business. I yeah, I just let them know that you're really not about this trip. But give us a chance. Give us a chance to change your mind. Real quick. I kind of want to get something off my chest with you. Would you mind if we went to Canada kind of while we were up in this area? Figured we could sneak on up there, maybe go to Alaska while we're at it. I know this is a lot to throw on you, but I just wanted to run it by you. Can we talk about this off camera? Why are we whispering? I don't know, but yeah, let's go. We can go. Talk to me. We're going to Kanata. Yeah. What's the plan? Actually, we thought Who? you guys should lead the way. You don't want Rainy in charge. No, oh, why not? Do no, let's do it. I have a question. Is Rainy driving? Rainy is driving. Also been driving me crazy. Mm. Ooh. Oh. Love it. Mm. Nice. But where are we going? No. That's the secret with traveling with the Hanks. You yeah. better expect to never have a clue what you're mm. doing within the next four hours. Right, and to not leave on time. I'm just... Ouch. <laughs> I am offended and I went off this caravan before it even starts. I'm done. I'm, I'm out. having fun. This is great. So, I mean, it's... <laughs> I'm not going to take this abuse. <laughs> At least we'll top off before going into Canada. Does it have DEF? Because I forgot about DEF. I would think it's a truck stop. It is like considered a truck stop. Oh, I love the name. Super duper boomtown. Super duper boomtown on three. Super <laughs> boomtown. Boom, 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 boom. Where was the three? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? I'm leaning on y'all. I need you guys to get pumped. <sighs> I got 400 things going on up in my head right now. It's gonna be good. Change is good. to a great star and we're also in some traffic and I just want to get to Canada. I want to see bears and no people. I don't want traffic. I don't want I don't want the city. Ah, maybe they're all going to Canada as well. You got to turn that negative energy around and be like, "Yeah, I will see you up there." We're going to pull over and Carl has an idea that he should have me drive through the border. After we get through the border, we're not quite like at home stretch yet because we have to figure out where to actually park our home for the night. See, we had a late start. The checkout at the, where we were was until noon and then we had to do the border crossing. We have no idea how long the border crossing is gonna take and then you gotta count for breaks. We always talk about RV time and this is what I'm talking about. There's so many variables and unexpected things that can happen that delay us.
Carl's been doing a lot of research on currency exchange. Like you kind of started spewing off how the currency exchange works. I have a fancy app here that you can just type it into. Oh, I got it. Okay, so 30, oh, that's cool. So it works like a calculator, 39. So that would only be like $29 US. I'm gonna give him a call. What kind of site were you after? Um, there's actually two of us in our group and it would be uh, new RV sites. We have 35 foot fifth wheels. So full hookup then, huh? Yeah, I mean, if we could, not if all you have is water electric, we can make that work, but. Yeah, I can do number 10 and number 11. They're water and electric. Unfortunately, I just didn't have the full, full hookup. That's okay, no problem. Yeah, so I, so I put you in number 10 and number 11. Perfect. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning then. All right, see you in the morning. Okay, bye -bye. thanks. Bye-bye. That wasn't so bad. Woo! Okay, we just booked our first Canadian campground. Yay! No, we do have exciting news when it comes to dry camping and boondocking. You probably know what we're getting at, but just hold on because... We have a lot to share on that and that's gonna be a whole nother video. It's a new RV! A whole new world! Let's see what this uh, Canadian campground's all about, guys. But first, first we have something very important to do, which is actually get into Canada. I think the truck stops over here. You're gonna go to a new country. Fun fact, we have been to Canada before, but it was in Niagara Falls. Does it count? Technically it does, but it's like Niagara Falls is so, so touristy and it's not really like the heart of Canada. In Niagara Falls, we didn't take the RV, we did take D, but Dexter has not been there. I just got back up. We're gonna go right where Keith is right here. So can you just back me up? Hey, when we get here, why don't you go ahead and roll down the driver's side and the passenger side window so they can look in the back. And see Dexter. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. Just so, I just feel like people respond respect to that, that better. Yeah. You know, instead of like, you're trying to hide something. Yeah. Or not. And we gotta take our sunglasses off. They said, have your sunglasses off. I only have sunglasses. I, I forgot to put contacts in, so I have to wear six eyes today if I wanna Dang. wear sunglasses. And I don't want to scare the border patrol by having six eyes. I don't. Here we go. Here we go. Are you nervous at all? A little bit. Really? What are you nervous about? I don't know. I mean, I, it just makes you nervous that they might like search you and not that we have anything to hide, but it's just so nerve wracking to know that you'd be searched. I'm going to try to stay behind them so that we can just see how it goes for them. Okay. Since it's possible that we can get really separated here, I sent them a rest area that's like six miles away. We're almost there. I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay, hear me out. Mm -hmm. If the Canadian border is right there, yeah. and the American border is right there, then where are we right now? Where are we? What? Whoa. Where are we? <laughs> what country is this? I mean, you're screwing with me. I just, I'm just saying. Canada, America. I'm not ready for this. I am Un not ready for unnamed this. Unnamed territory. You just threw this all on me at one time. Yeah. I'm not ready for any of this. I don't know what's going on. What is happening right now? What's going on? Ah, I'm so nervous. <sighs> Here we go. It's our turn. Yay. Nice job with the window roll down. I like that. Watch that mirror. Okay, but this is really tight. Yeah, oh. just swing over to the right. Just a smidge. You're good. Yeah, but can the RV fit? Yeah, you're good. That's that's tight. Oh. Are you okay? I think so. Oh, hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. good. How about you? Good. Where do you guys live? Uh, we're full time on the road, but we're from Pennsylvania okay. originally. Where are you heading? Uh, we're on our way to Can uh, Alaska. All right. Can the to you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah round trip. trip. Just a personal trip with like friends. Okay. Um, so other than the clothing and the obvious camping goods or whatever, what kind of stuff are you bringing in with you today? We do have that bottle of wine. We have a bottle of red wine. Okay. We yeah. just have one. Yeah. Um, we have some jugs of water yeah. for camping. Okay. Okay. Any like marijuana, marijuana products, like gummies, vapes, anything like that? Nothing. No. Okay, good time. All right, thank, thank you. So much. Have a good Have day. Have a good day. Okay, the real
real struggle is not hitting anything. If you thought truck lanes were tight. That was tight. That's tight. We did it. She was asking all these questions and I love as you were answering, she's like, any weapons? And I'm like, no. And you're like, pocket knife. I'm like, I'm getting arrested. They said, if you got it, declare it. I and know. And knife. I am, I was not trying to be sneaky. I was just, I totally forgot we had that. So I guess I should just let you answer the questions. If you're going through the border, just one person answer questions instead of the other person trying to be like, I have something else to say. You know what? That's what I should have. I, they said only the driver should answer questions. That was my bad. And he was so nervous that he's in the passenger seat because he probably thought I didn't know. There was a <laughs> lot of open-ended questions on that one. So it wasn't just yes or no. She let you do all the talking. So just be prepared for that. Maybe they're going to ask you questions where you just got to be declaring things. Just make sure you're open and honest with them. Yeah. But look at these sweet things. I got my new one, by the way. Yeah, we did a lot of preparations coming up here into Canada. There was a lot to be done. But we finally got it done. Isn't that how life works? Always something to do. But we always get it done. Canada, baby! Woo! Woo! Yeah! I'm gonna have this energy for like hours now. I know. Yeah. That, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So far, can I just say, Canada, it's really beautiful here. And a little bumpy. The bumps make me feel at home. We're right at home. <laughs> it's like we never left. Okay, I've been noticing that the speed limit is 100 kilometers an hour. Do you know how quick that is? We're gonna be good at this by the time we hit Alaska. And then I we're think, gonna forget. Actually, I think it's really easy. There's a good rule of thumb. I heard just keep it one to one. So one kilometer an hour is one mile per hour. So what could go wrong? So I 100 miles an hour. Right, go, baby. Okay, Here we go. All right, first hurdle. I just try to look up how fast is 100 kilometers an hour. And I have no service. Like, I can't get online at all. So. That's just keep you posted this is going to be a lot of learning for us and hopefully you guys as well so you get to learn from our mistakes as always welcome to the hanks channel and hanks way of doing things you just do it and hope for the best hey do you guys have a uh, signal like do you guys have internet yeah you have to make sure your data roaming's on data it roaming tell you unless you restart your phone oh okay all right gotta turn on data roaming i just did oh you think you just know it all I just figured it out and I was just coming to tell you. How did you figure it out that quickly? Okay, show me so, you know, I could share with our peeps. I went to settings. Uh huh. Um, and then I went to cellular. Down here was data roaming that was turned off. Get our son. He is now a Canadian cat. Let me get him. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Canada, sir. Sir, can I ask you a few questions now that you're here in Canada? How do you feel about your surroundings? Do you feel like there's gonna be a lot to do? Okay, we'll continue this interview later. Something to say? No? Okay. Can we put the steps down? We don't know. I right? don't know. Ooh, that was what? Ooh. <laughs> that was close. Any guesses on how fast 100 kilometers an hour what? is? I know, I know, I know. Oh, you know, know you can't answer. answer. How, I know. How much is he knows. It? Oh, I, there it goes that game. There's a better question. What's your RV height? Yeah. Oh. 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 Bridge coming oh. right now. What's and your RV height? Yeah. Bridge is coming. 4.13 meters. There you go. Is it? Yeah. You need to go to meters. I would have been yeah. like 14. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I gotta start studying. 60 miles an hour. That is how fast 100 kilometers an hour is. I hope I heard them right. Is it 60? It's 62. 62. MPH. For everyone out there, that is like, it's exactly 62. We seem to have hit a little snafu in traffic here. Some construction. Luckily, uh, Canada does it the right way and they have these guys leading the way. Cause you ever get in those construction zones, you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with my hands right now. They'll show you what to do with your hands. You basically just, Put them on the steering wheel and follow them. Mountains everywhere. I'm just gonna throw it out there. No matter where you're stopped, you're gonna have a good view of something. This place is huge. Huge. Woo! Woo! Oh, 
first RV park. First Canadian RV park. Emory. Emory, Emory Bar. Emory Bar. Yeah, it used to be called Hope RV Park. You want me to stay here? Yeah, you can stay. Okay, I'll stay here. How much in Canadian dollars? 35, and I got five Canadian dollars back. I oh, feel good. so official. We'll definitely gonna need to uh, lift up this side. We're in level. Do you know where the Anderson levelers are? Great. Only issue is this slide in this tree. It might be okay, oh. but. How long so you been confident. Doing that? I don't know. Three days. We're good? We'd have to use the Andersons? Nope. Yeah. I just wanted to throw them out. <laughs> mods. That's right, mods. Look at this. Little S hook. It was a buck at Home Depot. Boom. Look at that. Hang in there. And you just, because now you don't have to drill holes or anything. Now you it's could, out of the way. You can put it wherever you want. Tips with Carl. Thanks for coming.